I have to put mayonnaise on every single bite. Because I love mayonnaise. That's probably why I'm 180 pounds right now. Because I love mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise, butter, pickles, and that's all I can think of right now. But I cook everything with butter. One time. <laughs> I made chicken with mayonnaise, cheese, and butter. No pickles. But when I go anywhere, like anywhere that has a chicken wrap, like Dairy Queen, which I used to work there, Dairy Queen, McDonald's, Burger King, anywhere that has a chicken wrap, I'd be like, can you please put pickles? I want chicken wrap and extra mayonnaise and ranch. Because it's normally a ranch chicken wrap. So put mayonnaise on that bitch and ranch. So, I like ranch too. I don't think I love ranch, but I really like it. Anyway, I just made a video and deleted it on accident. It pissed me off, like, tremendously. So, today is Friday and I am off work. And my car has been in the shop since Monday. On Monday at, like, exactly 8.45, I was on my way to work, my husband and I, my husband was dropping me off at work and we were at a stop sign on post, we made a right turn and um, rolled over some railroad tracks and as soon as we hit the railroad tracks our car went down so the railroad tracks, something about those railroad tracks tore up our car, like our two right tires and our rims and etc etc point of the story is we called our insurance company they sent a tow truck we took the tow truck to Nissan and Nissan was like okay yeah we'll fix it USA was like okay yeah we'll, we might cover it we might not whatever bitch so USA went out there and they looked at it and they were like okay yeah we'll cover it we'll cover it so they were like okay estimated time for it to be finished is one day so that was on Monday so Tuesday the car really should have been finished so on Tuesday USAA should have had our money right so anyway they sent us on Monday to get a rental car and we got the rental car and the car just got ready technically yesterday evening and we were pretty much scheduled to pick it up today so USAA called us this morning and was like hey bitch your car is ready how about you fucking return the rental car that we're paying for because we don't want to pay for it anymore bitch like really so we're like okay well we haven't seen the money that we don't, we have not received the money for you to pay for it for us to pay for it and they were like well it's not our fault that your car got finished before we sent the money it's not our fault that you chose to get your car fixed at Nissan Something tells me that if I had taken it somewhere else, it would have been finished sooner than that. But the point of the story is, I don't have the money from USAA to pay to get my car out. So, what am I supposed to do if I have to return the rental car today? And how is that not your fault? How is it not your fault that you you were paying for the rental car, you came out said you would pay for the damages, and you haven't given us our money yet? How is that not your fault? So, we're still fighting with them about that. Or else we'll be out of a car. And I've got shit to do. It's the weekend. I'm off work. Luckily I'm off work. Because goddamn, If I had to take the rental car today and I had to go to work. How the fuck was I going to get there? So. Freaking. I have shit to do. I have. Sunday I have a double date with David and Michael. Michael is my karaoke DJ. And he and his boyfriend want to take me and my husband out. So yeah. I want to go. I want to go to that. Then. There's. The Ivy Lounge on Sunday night, which I've been dying to go to the Ivy Lounge. I've wanted to go to the Ivy Lounge 
for so long, it's ridiculous. Like, I really want to go. I'm really excited about going for karaoke because it's his first gig there. Like, he just got the job. And he wants it to be, you know, popping. He wants a good turnout. So I want to go. I'm one of his regulars. I want to go. I mean, plus he's taking us out to dinner. Like, really? Like, why wouldn't I go? How could I not go? So, anyway. Then tomorrow is Saturday, and my husband's off work, I am off work. What are we supposed to do? Sit in the house all day without a freaking vehicle? Look at ourselves? Watch Spongebob or something? A fucking iCarly? Fucking Sam and Cat, which is actually a really good show. But, um, <laughs> Nickelodeon rocks, yo. It rocks. So, anyway, that's not the point. The point is, I don't want to do that. I'm fucking 25 years old, and I'm fucking, I'm a rebel. I want to go out, and I want to go play. I want to do bad things, and freaking feel bad things and then feel it the next day and regret it. That's what I want to feel. So anyway, me and my husband, we want to do something on Saturday, but how can we do something we don't have a car? Today, at 1800, I have a barbecue that I'm supposed to be going to with for a very dear friend of mine. Like He's having a barbecue and I really want to go. And he's like, yeah, I can find you a ride. And I'm like, I don't really want to find a ride though. Like, I want to, I want to drive because I want to be able to leave when I want to leave. You know what I mean? I don't want to end up like spending the night <laughs> there, even though I'm probably going to be wasted, but if I don't have a car, I'm not going to get a chance to go, and I'm pissed off, so I'm still arguing with them, and I want to win this argument, this is not fair, I'm in need, I need them, I need my insurance company to insure me and help me through this hard, troublesome time, but they're fucking dicking me around, and I'm not happy, I'm not happy about it, so that's what's going on as of right now so that is my day my Friday and yeah that's my that's my day that's Pandora in the background I know it's crazy right this is my cell phone I'm playing gospel music and I'm cursing like that I am just really trying to drill gospel music into my life I really am but I don't know, I've had really bad luck for the past, for the past, like, three or four weeks. So, I'm just waiting on my luck to turn around. I'm waiting on my car to be in my driveway where it fucking belongs, where it's supposed to be. So I can go play. It's the weekend, and if I don't have my car back, they're like, oh, well, you'll have your money sometime next week. Like, what does that even mean? Monday? Tuesday? Wednesday? Thursday? Friday? Saturday? Sunday? When am I going to have the money? And what am I supposed to do? Walk until then? No, I can't walk. Everybody, uh, there's no bus lines here. I'm in goddamn Georgia in fucking Fort Stewart. And there's no... I'm going to turn this off. Because I'm starting to feel a little guilty about this conversation I'm having. Um, Yeah, there's no fucking bus lines here. I can't depend on a bus to get me to work. I don't want to ask people to give me a ride. My husband doesn't want to ask people to give him a ride for a fucking week. We have a car. Like, that's bullshit. It's bullshit. And it, it could have been prevented if I had have gotten a loan from the army of the amount that I asked for. I, it really could have. If people would just do what the fuck I say, we wouldn't be in this situation. I don't know why people don't do what the fuck I say. God. All of this shit could have been fucking prevented. But... I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't. So, <laughs> just got to figure out a plan B. And I'm really going to be pissed if I can't go to this barbecue, if I can't hang out tomorrow, and if I can't go to lunch, dinner, or whatever, or the in the Ivy Lounge with Michael and David on Sunday. Oh, and if I can't get to work on Monday in my own vehicle, I'm going to be livid. I'm going to be furious. So, that's the end of that. That's the end of that. <laughs>